If you can draw, put your hand up. If you can draw, put your hand up. Amazing. Okay, put your hands down. So I'm going to do some drawing for you today. So, you, okay, let's be quiet. Okay. So I know that you've learned all about my work, and so I'm excited to hear about some of that after. But before then, I'm going to do some drawing, I'm going to do some music, and then we're all going to do some drawing together. So I have this canvas here. It's a blank canvas. And a blank canvas can be something that is really scary sometimes, especially for adults. A blank canvas can be scary and it can be intimidating because we might make mistakes, we might do something wrong, we might try and do something that we don't want to do. And sometimes people think that they can't draw because their teacher or their parent says, this isn't what a house looks like, or this isn't what a dog looks like, or this isn't what a cat looks like, this is what it should look like. And it's all of your jobs to say, no, this is what my house looks like, this is what my person looks like, this is what my cat looks like, this is what my dog looks like. So it's all of our jobs to draw with our own style. And would you like to see a drawing? Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we have this canvas. This canvas can be very scary, like I said, but I have a switch in my head, and when I flip that switch, this canvas becomes a space for freedom. It becomes a space for ideas. It becomes a space for my imagination. It becomes a space for possibilities. And if I'm doing any drawing, it doesn't matter if I'm drawing on a 200-foot wall, if I'm drawing on your face, or if I'm drawing on my shirt, I start all my drawings in the same way. I'm going to get the pen ready here on my jacket. Let's get this ink ready. Okay, so I start all my drawings in the same way. I start them with one first line. And this line is like the DNA of the drawing. This line is like the skeleton of the drawing. This first line is the foundation of the drawing. And just like all of us, it's our DNA that makes us different. And you heard, I'm from London, and then I moved to Japan, where I used to do VJing, visuals in clubs, and, and then I moved to New York, where I started to do drawings like this. But like I said, I start all my drawings with this one line, this first line, and if I was listening to music, maybe that music would be in the line. You know, if I was listening to really fast music, maybe I would draw fast. Or if I was listening to really slow music, maybe I would draw slower. Or if I was listening to very jumpy music, maybe that would be reflected in the lines too. So music is also a really important way for me to help me start my drawings. So when I've done this, when I've done that first line, when I've created that skeleton, when I've created that foundation, when I've created that structure, I have these negative spaces. I have these pockets. I have all these different pockets of space. And there's clues for me about what to put in them. So I'm going to look for some clues. So this is a clue to me. If I have a space that is like a triangle, I'm going to do a beak. A bird's beak. If I have a bird's beak, then I need an eye. So here's an eye. There you go. If I have a line that is smooth and round, if I have a line that is smooth and round like the side of your face, I'm going to do a nose. If I have a nose, I need a mouth. If I have a mouth, I need a couple of uh, eyes. So I'm going to put some eyes in there. And the eyes are looking at something. They're looking at something. So I'm going to write some words. And so words, words and lines are the same thing. 
Words are made up of lines. So we're going to put some lines in there, some words in there, and there's the word lines. What else do we have here? If there's a space that feels like it's the ground, if it feels like it's the ground, I might want to put a landscape in there. So I'm going to put the ocean in there. So here's the ocean. There's the ocean. We want it to be a sunny day. So here's the sun. It's a very big sun. Maybe we want to put a boat in there so we can sail the ocean. So there's the boat. It's a little bumpy here, but there's the boat. And my boats are little birds, so this is a little bird boat. And then sometimes I don't know what I'm doing because my mind goes blank. And when that happens, I just do these dashes. So this is when I have no, nothing in my mind, I just do these dashes. Okay, so another soft line here. So we're going to do a nose, mouth, couple of... Okay, eyes, you're all awake, that's great. Okay. I'm going to put a little aeroplane, and this aeroplane is going to London, where I'm from. So there we go, London. Some dashes, nose, mouth, couple of uh, eyes there, some dashes. And we also have some more land here. This feels like it's the ground there, so we're going to do some mountains. So here's some mountains in here. And so you can see what's happening. One thing leads to another. One thing leads to another. One clue leads me to another clue. One clue leads me to another clue. Some mountains here. And then I have very simple birds. You know, my birds are the M-shaped birds. These are my favorite birds. And my favorite thing to draw is a stick figure. And I love stick figures because they can hold, they can push, they can pull, they can hold the structural integrity of the drawing. They keep all the drawing together. So if there's an area that needs some support, I put a stick figure. So this line needs some support there, some dashes here. This is right at the top of the canvas, so let's write top. Some dashes there. This looks like it needs some support there, so we're going to do a stick figure. Maybe draw upside down a little bit. And it's also good to remember who you are, so I'm going to write my name. Uh, can I remember how to spell it? S-H-A-N-T-E-L-L, Chantel, Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N. And I have the word art in my name. So this is what I was meant to do, because it's in my name. I'm going to keep drawing. And I think I have this feeling that I'm nearly finished, so I'm just going to have a quick look for a second. OK, it's nearly finished, but it's not done yet. Nose, mouth, eyes. Going to look again. I think I'm nearly finished, but not yet, so let me look again. Okay. Okay. So now I think I'm finished. So when I'm drawing, imagine there's this feeling called stop, and this stop feeling is in the form of a rope, or the form of a line, or the form of this ink. So when I'm drawing, I'm pulling this rope out, I'm pulling this ink out, I'm pulling this line out. And so now it's already almost out, and I think I've finished the drawing. So let's have a look. OK, it's finished. So you can all clap. Okay, so that's. I'm going to choose seven people to s just stand up. One. Okay, one, stand up. Just stand up, stay there. Two, stand up, stay there. 
Three. Stand up, stay there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, so everyone be quiet. Can somebody lend me a piece of paper? Okay, thank you. Okay, so can you shout out one word for me, please? London, okay. All right, sit down. Okay, one word. Love. Love. Okay, great words. What's your word? Art. Okay. A different word. Lines. Okay, lines. Draw. Passion. Passion, nice word. <laughs> and there's one more person over here. Sugar. Okay, I'm going to take sugar. Okay, sugar. Okay. I want you to repeat after me. And so let me just check that this is on. Okay, so repeat this after me. London, London. Love. love, art, art. Passion. passion, sugar, sugar. London. London, love, love. Art. art, passion, passion. Sugar. sugar, lines. lines. London. London, love, love. Art. Art. art, passion, Sugar. Sugar. Lines. Lines. London. London. Love. Love. Art. Art. Passion. Passion. Sugar. Sugar. Lines. Lines. London. London. Love. Love. Art. Art. Passion. Passion. Sugar. 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 Lines. Lines. Keep going. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, we need to bring this up. Can we bring the keyboard up? Okay, close your eyes, everyone. Close your eyes. London love sugar lines 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 London love 
sugar, lines, London, love, sugar, lines, London, love, sugar, lines, London, love, sugar, lines, London, love, sugar, lines. <laughs> And stop. Okay, so I'm going to make up a song now for you. And this is drawing with music. So instead of drawing with pens, I'm going to draw with music. Instead of drawing with pens, I'm going to draw with music. So let's see what happens. Okay, so listen very carefully. I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all blinking. I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all blinking. What did you have for breakfast today? What did you have for breakfast today? What did you have for breakfast today? Don't tell me. <laughs> I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all blinking, I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all blinking. How did you get to school today? I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all blinking, I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all looking. What do you want to do when you're older in the future? I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I see you all blinking, I see you all looking, I see you all thinking, I hear you all winking. What colour are your socks today? your eyes and close your eyes and close your eyes
So hi everyone, I'm Melanie and I work here at the 92nd Street Y and let's just give Chantel another huge round of applause for that performance. So the reason that I am here is because now we are all so inspired that I was thinking that maybe you guys would like to make some art here today as well. Raise your hand if you would like to make some art. Now that your hand is up in the air, I want you to show me with that hand some lines. Put your finger right up in the air and let's see what kind of lines we can make with no pencils at all. I see some long lines, I see some short lines, I see some wavy lines. Make some fast lines. Make some slow lines. Make some super excited lines. <laughs> and now take that line and put it all the way down and ask your teachers to hand you a pencil. I want you to hold it up in the air. And I will know that you are ready to draw when your eyes are up here and your pencil's in the air. If you're ready to draw, hold your pencil as high as you can. All right. Who in here has a piece of paper? Paper. So here are your instructions, my friends. I would like everyone to take your pencil in one hand and your paper in the other hand. And just in the same way that Chantelle inspired us, but was also inspired by the words that you gave her, the ideas in her head, and the sounds that were around us. We're going to make some drawings inspired by some words and some sounds today. So here's our warm up. On the first page, I want you, when I say a word, to draw the line the word makes you think of. All right? So the first word, first line I want you to draw is a zigzag line. Next, I want you to draw a wiggly line. Now show me a wild line. Draw a wild line. Ooh, I don't know. What does a wild line mean? All right. Now I want you to draw a scary line. And now I want you to draw a scared line. And just like we saw when Chantel was drawing, are there any wrong answers to these lines? No! Oh, any line that you can draw is your line. Last line, I want you to draw a really excited line. That will be easy. <laughs> you draw the line too? Yeah. Sorry? Oh, yeah. All right. 
All right, my friends, now that you have a lot of different lines, we are going to listen to some sounds. And I, in the same way that you drew the line that the words reminded you of, I want you to draw the line that you think of when you hear the sound that Chantelle's making on her keyboard. Everybody turn to a blank page in your sketchbook. Listen closely and draw this sound. Are you ready for another one? Listen closely and draw this sound. Who wants one more? Are we feeling warmed up? Yeah. Now we're going to make some art. So what I want everyone to do, turn to a blank page in your sketchbook, brand new paper. Everybody have a blank paper? Yeah. Now that we're ready to go, Chantelle's going to make some music and also put some words in there. And when you hear the sounds and the words that she makes, I want you to draw what you hear. Can everybody do that? Yeah. Are we ready? All right. Sunshine. Rainbows. Grass, 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 hopper. Give yourselves and Chantel another huge round of applause. So I see some amazing art out there, and we want to give some artists, some young artists, a chance to share the work they've done both in here and in their school programs. So we have a couple artists. This is Maya, and she's going to introduce some of the work that artists, our artists have done in their school programs. That's right. 
Hi everyone, my name is Maya. I work for the 92nd Street Y Center for Arts, Learning, and Leadership. So we are so excited to show some of the work that you all have been doing in your classrooms. Public School 527 is joining us via live stream. Can we all say hello to PS 527? Hello! So Genesis um, at Public School 527 shared some of the work that she's been doing inspired by Chantel in the classroom. And here's a quote from Genesis. I was thinking of winter and used detail to make snowflakes. I used lines to create boxes and snowflakes and zigzags to create mountains. Genesis, thank you so much for sharing your work with us. And then we're gonna move to the next slide, which shows us some student work from Public School 151. And we're going to welcome Aaron on stage from Public School 151. Come on up, Aaron. So, Aaron, I'd love to know uh, a little bit about what you've been doing with the live animation work at Public School 151. Um, I just like to sometimes draw lines and I like to make them into different sculptures. That's really great and very much inspired by Chantel. So I would love to know when you create a line, where does your imagination take you? Um, it takes me to different kinds of things that might not even be real, but like sculptures that don't look like what people think they are. Great. And now after seeing uh, Chantel's live demonstration, what do you want to create next? What are you inspired to do? Um, I think I'm inspired to do some of her work. Thank you so much, Erin, for sharing your work with us. Yes. Thank you. And now we're going to welcome Olivia from PS116. And she, hi, Olivia. And she's going to share some of the work she just created from the live drawing demonstration. So I'm gonna hand Melanie the mic and Melanie is gonna ask Olivia a few questions about her process. Hi, Olivia. Olivia, can we see your artwork? Wow. So Olivia, what can you tell us about what you drew today? I made a star up the, on the, I made a star on the paper. And I also made some lines. And what, what were you thinking about when you made those lines? Did something inspire you? Yeah, it inspired me because I thought I was like going to make um, the universe. The universe, really, really nice. Can we see Olivia's drawing again? Olivia, I love the way that you used your whole paper to make an entire universe up there. Is there anything else you want to tell us about your drawing? Well, thank you so much for sharing your art with us today. Can we give Olivia a big round of applause? Thank you so much, Olivia. All right. So now we have a great opportunity to ask some questions to Chantel. So I want everyone to think if they have any questions they would like to ask her about her artwork, about her inspiration, about her ideas. And we have some people walking around with microphones. And if you would like, if you have a question for Chantel, raise your hand and our mic runners will come and get your questions. Go ahead. And let's everyone listen up so we can hear the question. How do you get your ideas? What was the question? How do you get your ideas? How do I get my ideas? So when I'm thinking about what work to create or what ideas to create, I try not to think too much. And I try to just do it. Because when you're making art, when you're drawing, that's when ideas come to me. So I try not to think too much. I just try to draw or I try to create, and then the ideas naturally come to me. Um, how do you like think of it very, like how do you do it so well and make up like your own ideas? 
So how do I do it so well? Thank you. <laughs> lots and lots and lots and lots of practice. Yeah, so I love drawing to music, so if any of you want to practice, listen to lots of music and draw to the music because that helps you create lots of practice. So practice, 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 practice. What age do you start drawing? What age did you start drawing? <laughs> hey, what age did you start drawing? Seven. Yes. Maybe a bit younger. <laughs> I think I started drawing maybe around two or three or four years old. Like many of you, I'm sure we all started in this room drawing at two or three or four years old. It's really like, it's really good. Thank you. Do you have a question? Um, yes. How do you, like, who taught you how to draw like that? So who taught me how to draw like that? Not my art teachers. So my teachers in school tried to make me draw differently, and I said I don't want to do that. So I would just draw by myself. And so I think I taught myself, but I knew what I didn't want to do. And then with lots of practice, I found out what I did want to do. So you can teach yourself. What inspired you to be an artist? What inspired me to be an artist? Okay, so that's a, that's a good question. What inspired me to do an artist? So I love drawing, I love making, I love creating, I love sharing. And so I, I think I was already an artist and I was just able to try really hard at it for many, many years to become an artist. So I, I'm not sure if I was inspired to be an artist, I think maybe I was already an artist, but I, I, I kept trying to work at it. When do you start um, drawing? You all know. When did I start drawing? Yep, yeah, two, three, four years old. What was Thamesmead like? Oh, what was Thamesmead like? Do you know Thamesmead? Yes. So Thamesmead's where I'm from in London. And it was an interesting place to grow up because Thamesmead is built off the ground. So it meant that we, as children, we had lots of places to jump around and jump on things and off things. So in a way, Thamesmead was like a big adventure playground. But you know, I could talk about that for a long time, but I think the main thing I, that comes to mind is that it was like a big adventure playground. I think we have time for two more. Do you make a lot of money when you're an artist? If you're an artist. Do I make a lot of money? Was that the question? Do you make a lot of money when you're an artist? If, if you're a successful artist, you make a lot of money, but you spend a lot of money. So it's the same. This is the last one. What kind of music did you like? What kind of music did I like? I liked a lot of dance music. So when I was younger, I loved dancing. So any type of music, um, dance music. And then we used to, in London, we had lots of boy bands. Um, so I used to listen to some of that music. But I don't listen to that now. So, But now I just make my own music. So that's fun. And Chantel, we also have one question okay. from our live stream. So say hi to everyone on the live stream. Hi, hi, live stream. And Allison from our live stream says, how can I be an artist? How can you be an artist? How can you be an artist? So that's a very good question. So first, if you want to be an artist, it has to be your plan A, it has to be your plan B, and it has to be your plan C. So if you want to be an artist, that's all you want to do. If you want to try and do many different things, it doesn't work. So when you want to be an artist, you have to be very focused, you have to be very passionate, and you have to be ready to be very poor for a very long time. <laughs> Chantel, thank you so much for being here today. And let's everyone give all of our artists, all of our participants, and Chantel a huge round of applause. Okay, I've got my, uh, I'd love to take a picture. So, should we do a little selfie? Yes? All right, okay. 
Okay, everyone, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> All right, bye, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Go on.